Down Atlanta, welcome to Truist Park. MLB The Show's Game of the Week is coming your way. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi alongside Chris. So just about set now. And on the mound now, Charlie Morton. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Ready to go now. Stepping in for San Diego, Xander Bogarts. The 1-0. Ball two. Second pitch of the game, it was a good one, but doesn't get the strike call. We'll see how this umpire zone shapes up today. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And that's a strikeout looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. Jake Cronenworth, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Still hitless in the series. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball. Two strikes. One down, base is empty. One, two. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Left hand batter waits. That's inside. No, that's ball. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. In the air, out towards left center, Rosario under this one. And there are two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Juan Soto. Three hits at 12 trips so far in the series. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Albies settles under this one. Reaches over the wall, and he's got it! Nothing doing there for the Friars. And now the Braves, with their first chance to hit, were scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, and towing the slab, Michael Waka. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Here's a speed threat, Michael Harris. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And it's into the gap. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. So here's Murphy now. The other way. Cruz brings it in. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. That is third. The third base Austin. Here's Austin Riley. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Not even close there. And that's ball one. Good eye okay. right there. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And a big swing and a miss. Next pitch is popped up. 
Cronenworth pulls it down, and there's two gone. Batting now batting Jordan Luplo. Jordan Luplo. Swing and a foul straight back. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing. Welcome back. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. The third base is number 13. Pretty great year Manny Machado had in 2022. He was the guy that really carried the Padres to the National League Championship Series. Ultimately finished as the runner-up to the National League MVP, Paul Goldschmidt. And a pitch. Back up the middle in a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Rudder at first with no outs here. Got it by him for the K. So digging in now for San Diego, Nelson Cruz. That misses, 1-0. and zero. Charlie Morton, a guy who has had a pretty incredible ride. He's won the World Series twice with the Astros in 17 and with the Braves in 2021. Ball to strike. And downstairs. Yeah, Boop, talent aside, Charlie Morton is one of those teammate favorites everyone you talk to talks about how great a guy he is ah! struck him out without a swing fastball to letters frozen for strike three oh interesting he's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single back-to-back -back strikeouts so they haven't been able to move that runner up get him in the scoring position and try to have a better chance of scoring i tell you good job so far on the mound he just needs one more out Hit weakly on the ground, Riley. They get the force, and that is that. Padres leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two, and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Waka back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Waka, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a change-up, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a two-seamer. In the dirt. Throw over to Cronenworth. And a quick out number one. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the oh, zone God, and see ball. how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Now two out. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. That one hit to right. Cruz under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And the Braves go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in Atlanta, out of the third Diego. inning. Stepping in for the San Diego, Diego. Ha-Sung Kim. Kim. And a pitch. 
Oh. One. Kim getting the start at second in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he's a native of South Korea. And it's oh, one and okay. one. And the righty deals. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That ball was drilled 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. First offering, runner goes. High fly ball, shallow right field. Luke Lowe pulls that one down, one away. Now he launches a throw over his head. So the batting order turns over. It's Sander Bogarts now. Runner, runner, runner. runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Tag. Ow! Darno, great throw. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Oh, and he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He goes down looking. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Walker back to work. Popped up. Cronenworth moving under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath. A little bit and popped it out. Here's Orlando Arcia. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Here's the 0-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And here it comes. Swing, and a ball popped up, and it falls. So the one-out hit turns the lineup over. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. No, Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed it. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. That's towards center. Angle pulls it in for the out. Two away down. Now here's Sean Murphy. 0 for one so far. Murphy. Murphy, a former Gold Glove winner, 28 years old. And he's usually a catcher. Today, he gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Well, I really like when a guy gets a break like that. He still gets to stay involved in the game. Instead of starting behind the dish, he gets to hit, gets to rest a little. Can't glove it cleanly, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Brave strand one. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And it drops in. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Manny Machado. And takes low for ball one. Manny Machado, his brother-in-law, is former major leaguer Yonder Alonso. Both those kids grew up in Miami. And, of course, Alonso, a guy who ended up having a nice major league career. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Soto, the base runner at first with one out.
The next pitch misses. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ripped on a line to center. Grabs it on the run. That's out number two. The bat, the hitter. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Steps on the bag for the force. And the inning is over. One left for San Diego, and we're still knotted at zero. Back at Truist Park, here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. The third baseman. And he deals. And he swings over the top there. You know, these Braves definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. Liner, base hit. Now that one. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Luplo. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Lying, and that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here is Matt Olson, and that's in for a strike. No outs, runners at first and second. Next pitch is outside. Left-hand hitter waits. And now it's even up. On the ground, two ball. Throws to second for one. And that's two. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Rudder at third, two away. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Not a swing you want to watch again. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Throw to first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. No runs, two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four. We're tied. Welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Nelson Cruz. And a pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. You know, these Padres need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find oh, ways to dude. drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Gonna count one oh. and two. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. The batter now is Adam Engel. He's 0 for 1. 
And there's the strike. Oh one. Oh and two as he waves oh, at that two. one. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch that strikeout. Is, You've got to be better at the plate crazy. right there, at least to foul Bobby something off, yeah. extend that at bat. Ha Sung Kim will hit next. And he's already singled in this game. That's that one strong. finds the corner. 1 1. Next oh. offering is outside. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. That is the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Home half of the fifth. And welcome back. Here's the Ladies catcher, up, Travis Dardo. The catcher, Travis. Dardo. Oh, why the kick the pitch? Cold strike right there. You know, these Braves looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Line drive, hauls it in, and there's one away. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. First offering misses badly for ball one. Misses outside, and the count is 2-0. The wind of the pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Angle makes the catch, and there are two outs. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia. One for one with a single so far. Arcia. Next offering popped in the air, right field. He makes the grab, and that's the inning. Braves go down quickly here, and we are still scoreless. Back here in Atlanta, and now the catcher comes up to hit. Luis Campusano. Morton back to work. Campusano goes five feet 11 inches 24 years old he's playing today in his home state of Georgia so two Ball. balls and no strikes two balls, no strike. there's Here's a strike that. here comes a pitch there's Ooh. a strike Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. That's the third. Riley. Throws across the diamond. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Bogarts in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Singing, you know, Xander Bogarts is actually a twin. His twin brother, Jair, signed with the Red Sox initially and played a little bit in the Boston organization. That's pretty cool. Righty to the plate. And that's through there for a strike. When former Red Sox scout Mike Lord visited Aruba for a tryout in the summer of 2009, 16-year-old Xander Bogarts was in bed with Chick.
This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that is a foul ball. And what's interesting is Xander wanted to be a teacher when he was growing up. And obviously that did not happen. But what's cool is that his elementary school was renamed after him. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball. Two strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and met. Back here at the ballpark. And now here is Michael Harris. No, 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 no. Michael Harris. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. 1 1. In the air to left center. Angle on his way over. Racing makes the catch. And there's one away. Now, the, 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 so now the DH spot, Sean Murphy. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Base knock right field. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Next pitch has popped up. Cronenworth settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're high level, but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Luplo stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Tosses to first, and that will end the inning. One hit. Back at Truist Park. Now it's going to be Juan Soto. The pitch. Strike one. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Tarno should have this one. One up, one down. Manny Machado up to the plate. One for two. First Yo, offering and it just misses. And That's another ball. ball. Next offering misses. Three and oh. oh. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. There's a strike, three and one. Take it all the way on 3-0 right there. And as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? So now three and two. Up the middle, Albies. And he's safe at first. Definitely a tough play right there. And he had a little trouble on the transfer. Didn't seem to be able to get the grip and get rid of it. And that made all the difference. And here is Matt Carpenter. That just misses. And it's 1-0. That's a little bit low. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. The pitch. He swings and fouls went off. One away. Tie game. 
go-ahead run stands at first. Strike two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And now, Nelson Cruz, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In there for strike one. Well, in a no 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next offering is foul back. Next one just misses. One and two to count. And that one hit to first. Olsen steps on the bag, and that'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please go with a traditional double hit strike. Bottom of the seventh, now in for the Braves, Matt Olsen. The first base And the right hater back to work. Olsen. Swings through that one. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. This ball's chopped in the ground. The underhand flip, and Olsen is set down. Here's Eddie Rosario. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Soft contact in the air. Makes the catch for the out. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Bogarts with the throw to first. And we stay tied as the inning ends. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Adam Engel. The pitch. Just missed. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Foul ball there. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. He's got it. And there's one down. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. In for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Squeezes it, and there's two away. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. And that one fouled off. And now the one. Popped in the air, left side. Riley settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzie Albies. A wind in the pitch. In the air, foul off first. Cronenworth has a beat on it. Makes the grab one away. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. Arcia up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Bullpen action for the Padres. Drew Pomerantz appears to be getting loose. Hill warming up as well. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first, and a couple of quick outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Around first, heading for two. 
in with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. He was all over that one. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go. New pitcher on now, Drew Pomerantz. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Next is the designated hitter, Sean Murphy. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That's inside, and it's a ball to strike. Two down, go ahead, run at scoring position. That smash towards center. Dives, what a play! Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. Back here in Atlanta. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Jesse Chavez will take over here. He last pitched two days ago. Number 60, Jesse Chavez. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And ball one. That's inside. Two oh. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. All these makes the grab on the run. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Oh, and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Battling here as he fouls it away. Right-handed reliever. Fights it off. He'll see another. Kicks and fires. Out towards left center. Rosario makes his way towards it. Lays out and makes the play. That diving catch right there is the kind of play that just fires up the team, whether it's to make more great defensive plays or to get back in the dugout and swing the sticks. And now it's Juan Soto. Infielder shifted to the right. Shortstop just to the left of second. And first offering is fouled off. Chavez, 39 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Here's your one. Now one and one. On the ground, right side. He steps on the bag, and that is that. Three up, three down that time. Hard of the order. Three, four, five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. And we still have no score. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Oh. Just missed. Action in the pen down there. Josh Hader, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. The next oh, offering good. misses. Two and oh. Hello. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The 2 1. Swung on, belted. Banks off the wall. The throw into second. He's in there. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch AB could end this one. And first offering is fouled off.
And it's second. And a foul ball. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Around third. Across is the winning run. And the Braves walk it off for the win. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our 